are back. My next guest tonight is a sports columnist for the New York Daily News, and every Sunday morning you can see him on the Sports Reporters on ESPN. Please welcome the lip, Mike Lupica. How are you, Mike? Well, I was fine until I, I was coming out of the way, the makeup room, you know. Right. And Andy says, "Hey, Mike," and I say, "Hey, Andy." So Conan's inside hitting on your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 That's a little fun we were having. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of fun? Well, it's like this. She was all over me. Uh, <laughs> I should explain. Before the show, I go out, say uh -huh. hi to the audience, yeah. and uh, yeah. and you know, I start mm, kind of. There's this woman and I. We just have this chemistry. I don't know. <laughs> and no, I basically started harassing this woman, and then she explains that she's your wife, and then uh, I realized that that we would and have. You to... harassed her more. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I did. Yeah. But it's all fine now. We're friends. And I'm seeing her You're Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking her to the Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah. She, she never dances with me. Bethany, there know. she is. Hello. Oh. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I no, thought the camera was on her. I'm sorry. Nice. That's nice. Now, there is so much to talk about in the world of sports. Here in New York, it's been a meltdown. <laughs> Explain what is going on with the Jets coaching situation as, as succinctly as you can for anyone who doesn't know. We used to think that the Jets were as funny as they could be when they stunk, mm -hmm. you know. And then on Monday morning, Bill Parcells retired. Yeah, as legendary coach. Great Hall coach. Of Fame two, coach. Yeah. two Super Bowls, came back, um, came within a game of the Super Bowl two years ago with the Jets. He retired. We give him a hero's exit goodbye. Right. Now, I'm, I'm sitting in my house on Tuesday afternoon, and my sports editor calls. He said, you, you might want to think about turning on the television set. And I said, why? He said, well, Bill just resigned. And I said, no, Bill resigned yesterday. He said, no, it's a different Bill. Right. Um, he had handed over the coaching to Bill Belichick, his Bill longtime Belichick, the defensive coordinator. His longtime um, assistant. Mm -hmm. And Belichick thought it over and came back and quit after one day on the job on, on Tuesday. Now, the good news... Well, what was hilarious, though, is that they announced, okay, here's the big press conference right. where, where the organization will hand it over to Belichick and he will say, I'm going to take this team to the top, catch us, you know, <laughs> catch the magic. And, 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 and we're so jaded by now by press conferences because they're so choreographed and the, the Jets organization's there and everyone's happy and he gets up there and he goes like, nope, not going to do it, I'm getting out of here. And it was a... It was a weird thing and, to say. And then went on for about an hour and doing everything except rolling steel balls in his hands like a scene for the Kane mutiny. Right. And to the point where you just, you could imagine the people in the audience going, stop now, we know you're not going to take the job. The good news for Jets fans is that, you know, that no coach has resigned as of, well, whatever time it is today. But it's, <laughs> you know, it's... Why, a, it's 1.30 in the morning, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a record. It's a record. Two now, coaches, one week. Now they you, have no coach. And the sports writers, are they liking this story? Is this... Yeah, I mean, this is usually a slow time of the year because neither New York team uh, made the playoffs. So this is there's just a little lull before the playoff games on, on Saturday and Sunday. But now we've got this, as you said, a complete meltdown. And, and th there's no telling when, when the end will be because the team is in the process of being sold as well. So this could go on for weeks. So they could have a series of people announced as the new coach who get up and resign and have a meltdown. Yeah, yeah. And it could be this ongoing thing where people have <laughs> pinwheel hats on. Which which is a little bit what it looked like on Monday and Tuesday this week. We, uh, I'm curious about, I've been, we've had some of the, the stars of this movie Any Given Sunday on, yeah. the football movie. And uh, I was curious what you thought about it, because everyone's saying this is the most realistic sports movie they've ever seen. And I'm what was your take well, on that movie? I, I thought it was interesting that, that, that they made the coach Coach Corleone, you know. Um. <laughs> Al Pacino <laughs> plays the coach. Yeah, but you look at the National Football League on Sunday, every coach is a fat guy in a sweater, you right. know. And now, <laughs> you know, you want to say to Al Pacino, you know, who are your assistant coaches, Gotties? You know, it's, <laughs> you look like you should have Puff Daddy's guys behind him, his right, side guys, right. saying, you know, oh, I don't like that call. Right. Well, he's a football coach who wears sort of like dark suits and <laughs> yeah, sits he, in a chair on the sideline and people kiss his hand. And <laughs> Yeah, but he doesn't look like any football coach. It looked like they thought they were casting the part of me, you know? And mm -hmm. I, I didn't understand that part of it, but it, it's very violent. Right. I mean, it's very violent. And they say the hits are realistic. Yeah, I mean, somebody in, in Sports Illustrated, I think, called it Tackling Private Ryan because right. it's, it's like those Rocky movies, you know, right. where 
every moment of every round and every punch is a great punch. But you just, you know, it's just Oliver Stone. You right. know, you waited for a second gun in the Kennedy thing to kind of meld into that movie. He'll work <laughs> you, it in somehow. Yeah. yeah. He wanted to say, lighten up, baby. You know, have you been watching what's going on with the Jets? That's pro football. So that's his next movie. Uh, you, uh, before we go, Athlete of the Century, everyone, when the millennium changed, said, started making their list. Yeah. And, and deciding who's athlete of the century. Just before we go, who is your athlete of the I, century? I, went, I, I had a tough call between Ruth and, and Michael Jordan, and I finally went with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was my call. I was on that allegedly blue chip panel that voted for ESPN. But I, when, I, when I weighed everything, and especially what I had seen from right. Jordan, from the time he made the shot to win the national championship in college, I thought he's, he's the best I ever really? saw. Of the century, though. Best I ever saw. Yeah, I had him one, Ruth two, Ali three. See, I say Ali first because amazing athlete, but also sort of spiritual cult, political leader. Who does that? I mean, that, that's Jackie, why I say. Well, Jackie Robinson did. Or See, Jackie Robinson, you, but, that's, if, why I, but I, that's why I would put Ali first. If, I, I said to somebody, if you're just going to judge them as much on what they did in the ring or on the field as what they did off the field, then you've got to make Robinson number one because nobody ever changed the world as much as Jackie Robinson did. Ali, Jordan, <laughs> Hulk Hogan. That's my... <laughs> Anyway, Mike, that's just how it is. It's good to have you here. Mike Lupica, everybody. We're going to take a break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for later, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.